crock pot meals definitely come in handy on those super busy days but it really helps if they're also very very budget friendly hey guys today i am sharing a crock pot meal I'm also doing this video as part of the Frugal Family Food collab with Amanda at the Fundamental Home and Tangi from Freedom Homestead. I'll have both of their channels linked down below in the description box if you guys wanna check them out. They do this every month, sharing tons of stuff and not only on their YouTube channels, but there is a group Facebook page that has over 90 thousand members and I will have that link down below as well. So this month's theme for the frugal family food collab is slow cooker or even the instant pot. I do have both but I figured I would share a very frugal recipe with you guys in the crock pot. Okay so are you guys ready to see some French onion pork chops? Let's get into this. Let's get this dinner going. I've got my crock pot plugged in. However, there is a step that I'm going to be doing before I get my ingredients into my crock pot. Speaking of ingredients, this is all I'm going to need for the main course of the dinner. I picked these pork chops up a while ago. You can see that use by date says January 27th. I found these on clearance at Walmart and they have been in my freezer ever since. So I only paid $4.10 for all of these, which is amazing because as a family of six, I'll be able to get two meals out of this because I do have three younger children that don't eat as much as a teenager and adults. So that's awesome. I can totally make this all in one and then I'll have enough for another night. You guys do not need this big of a package. You could get away with four pork chops, but like I said, I am a larger family and I wanna make sure that we have enough for leftover. So I am kind of doubling this. I'm gonna use this whole package of pork. I'm gonna use two cans of French onion soup. You could only use one can if you were using half the amount of pork chops here. And then I'm going to cut up this entire onion. This is a pretty big size onion. I buy these in bulk at Sam's or Costco, so they are a little bit bigger than normal. And then I just have some of my favorite seasonings. I am going to sear these first. I'm gonna put a little bit of this olive oil in my pan here and then I'm going to season my pork chops with good old salt and pepper and then I love using garlic powder and onion powder. I use this on almost every single meat that I cook. So I'm going to go ahead and open up my package of pork chops. I'm going to season one side, put a little bit of olive oil in my pot here and then I'm gonna put the pork chops in and then I'm gonna season the other side before flipping them over. And I'm just gonna pan sear them just a little bit to lock in that moisture, get some extra seasonings on them, and then we're gonna move everything to the crock pot. So let's get these pork chops in here. pork is finishing up in here I did go ahead and slice my onions you guys can cut your onions however you want it really doesn't matter but once you cut your onions you want those to be on the bottom of your pot so I'm just gonna take this whole onion all the slices that I made and just spread them out all across the bottom of my crock pot 
So my onions are on the bottom. I also have the first part of my pork because I couldn't fit it all in one pan. So I'm gonna get the rest of my pieces now that they are done. I'm gonna finish layering them on top of the onions. And like I said, you do not need to do this much at once. I just, I love bulk cooking when I can because it definitely helps me later on in the week, especially when nights get busy. You guys know exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, so I've got my onions, my pork, and now I'm just going to pour my soups on top. There's one. And there's two. Another reason why I like using two, um, I have made this recipe before with, with chicken and it's really, really yummy, but I only use one can, but I am actually going to serve this up with mashed potatoes and bread and corn. You guys are gonna see it when it's all done. And I like there to be a little bit extra sauce for my, my mashed potatoes. So I don't feel like I need to make any extra gravy or anything like that. So when you add just one extra can, it just takes the other step out of your dinner menu plan. So, all right, I got everything that I need in there. I'm gonna put the top on and then I am going to cook this on low for about four hours. Now my crock pot does not have a four hour button for the low. So I'm just gonna put on eight hours and I'm just gonna pay attention to the time and come back in four hours. Or if you guys need that extra bit of reminder, set your timer on your phone for four hours and just come back and check it and it should be nice and ready. And then I'm gonna show you guys how this turns out and what I'm serving it with. All right, you guys, I am turning this off because it is done. So there is what it looks like in the crock pot. So I already made my plate. I'm gonna show you guys what I'm serving it with. So here's the pork chop, and I just made sure I got some of that French onion soup on top, and then we have mashed potatoes, and I put some of the gravy with the extra onions from the bottom and the soup mixture on top of that. We've got some corn on the cob. This I buy in bulk at Costco or Sam's and or just depending, and I get the small ones just because I do have little kids. Um, my husband and I and my oldest daughter sometimes will eat two of these. And then I've got some rolls. So you guys, this did not co cost me that much at all. And actually these mashed potatoes are these that I got from the Dollar Tree, but I did not put this crunchy onion topping on top of them since I already had the onions from the crock pot meal. So what I did was I wrote the expiration date on the onions and I put them in my pantry and I will use those for like green beans with garlic and butter um, in a skillet and something like that in a upcoming meal. And then these rolls are also from the Dollar Tree. So my sides only cost $2. I can't remember how much this corn costs because like I said, we buy it in bulk, but it's not very much. And then the pork chops for $4.50 for all of it. And we have plenty, we will have plenty of leftovers um, and plenty of leftovers from the mashed potatoes to make another meal out of that. So this is my crock pot French onion pork chop meal and the sides that I am serving it up with. All right, that was super easy and the family ate it up. Again, not very, again, very, very frugal. It did not cost a lot to create this meal even with the sides I included. So I want to thank Amanda and Tangie for letting me be a part of this collab for this month. So every single Friday was another collab for the month's theme of the slow cooker and instant pot. So even though this month is almost over, there is gonna be one more next Friday on the 30th by Minimalist Mom Life. So I'm gonna have all the information down below. You guys can check out some of the other channels who did the Fridays previously to this one and don't forget to check out next Friday's frugal family food collab video. So thanks for hanging out with me. If you guys love these kinds of videos, give this a big thumbs up. That lets me know to continue to share them. I have a lot of recipes and I just don't share them all the time, but if you guys like it, I will start trying to film as much as possible. So next month, I'm actually gonna be all about my Instant Pot. We're going to learn step-by-step step how to use it, easy meals, a little bit harder meals, desserts, sides, all sorts of stuff. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell next to it so you're notified when I upload if you do not wanna miss any of my Instant Pot videos. Thanks again for hanging out with me today and I will see you guys tomorrow in a new one.
拜。